up guys, I'm Grandmaster Shaman and welcome back to Flower Paradise and today we have another episode of our Robotics Notes Elite Playthrough and I hope you guys have enjoyed the series to this point. Make sure you guys hit that like button down below for me because you already know your support's greatly appreciated. All of that- oh. That was weird. Um. Okay, nothing really happened, okay. I gently lift my head and notice the light coming in from the outside window. I've been sitting on this uh, hard seat for so long that my body aches all over. I stretch out a bit, still seated. We figured we had a hotel reserved, but after getting to ha Haneda Airport, Michi delivered a shocking announcement. And then he moved on like it was no big deal. And so we set out for uh, Odaiba, uh, where Robo One is held, and spent the night at a 24 hour burger joint. Is that how it goes? I didn't know that burger joints were just like, yeah, we'll just let you spend the night here. It's fine. Well, it's on this uh on the island, the only 24-hour joint is a diner in uh Nishi no Motechi. Uh freaking heck. It's a diner in Nishi no Motashi. Uh we have uh two convenience stores total. Wow. And then you have the fact that even in the middle of the night, Tokyo is lit up bright. As someone accustomed to the darkness of the island, that brightness was actually a little scary. I even ended up looking for that creepy aurora in the sky. Fortunately, it was in the sky where it always was, serving as a reminder that we weren't too far from Tanegashima. As, uh, and such was a f my first night in Tokyo, a priceless experience or something. So much of Yashiwa, Wakudo, Hajimete, Daro? Hm? Sensei no Gori de Tabeta Hamburga, what do that? Is this your first time at a Wikidees? Um, a Wikidees? Uh, Wikdonald's. You gotta love Wikdonald's, man. The biggest fast food joint in the entirety of the world. You gotta love that Wikdonald's over there. Okay, so. Wikd is short for Wikdonald's, a fast food joint. It's a place for burgers in Japan, but we have none on Tanegashima. Wow, really? Even though we're nearly 20 years into the 21st century. Mm. I've had McDonald's twice on Kagoshima. Their burgers are totally fine, and I and the one I had yesterday was no different. I could have gone for another though. Yeah, that's true. If possible, we wanted to avoid being exhausted because we spent the night in hard chairs. For Akio and I, this is important. There's the threat of having an attack at, a, at any time. The more we strain our bodies, the easier it is for an attack to occur. As soon as we found out that we didn't have a hotel booked, the first thing I, I worried about was having an attack. So basically right now, it's like I'm holding onto a bomb with a lit fuse. Who knows when it could explode. Either way, I know for sure that it's lit. And once the fuse is lit, it won't stop until it explodes. It's just a question of when. I have no control over that, and all I can do is pray to the powers that be. I'd love for it to occur at a time and place uh, that would cause a, as little trouble as possible to the people around me. I grit my teeth. This condition is irritating as hell. It sucks having to worry about something el uh, else while I already have other things to deal with. I'm so fed up that I want to shout loud. Um, I want to go back to the island right this yeah, minute. He thinks so much for leadership. Yeah, what the frick? えっと、確か9時だな。先生の記憶が確かならだぞ。これ豆知識な。いやあ、さすが道。役に立たないったらないね。な、なんだと。やしょ、先生を敬う気持ちが足りんぞ。I mean, to be fair, he is freaking useless. Like, this dude can't do anything, man. Like, ugh. It just sucks. As someone who's who's trying to be a teacher, who's like, 
you know, going through the training and stuff. You don't just leave your students hanging like that, man. This dude is just a terrible teacher. It's 8.50. If registration starts at 9, we need to head to the venue now or we'll be in trouble. Yeah, I have no choice. I wanted to let her rest a little longer, but I don't have to wake Akio up. She's in the seat next to me, face down on the table, snoozing away. Up until an hour ago, she was doing the final adjustments to the presence programming. She eventually dozed off. She looked really comfortable, and since I felt uh, any final tweaks couldn't be important, I let her sleep. Since Akio is the only one who actually knows the right registration time, I gotta wake Aki -chan, her up. Zoro -zoro iku yo. Yeah, she should be on top of this. Still half asleep, Akio irritatedly swipes away my hand, shaking my her shoulder. Slightly annoyed, I shake her shoulder again. Aki -chan, asa desu yo. Okay, she said la la lu. Or more la la lu. What is, what is that? What is that? What is that translation? What is that translation? Even if that's like the Japanese McDonald's theme music, what the hell is that translation? What? Is she dreaming? Since she's not waking up, I sigh and forcefully pull on her ear. <laughs> Akio's hands claw at the air. I release my hand and she glares at me re resentfully. Her eyes are red, and that's what the lack of sleep will do to you. She suddenly looks around in a panic. なんだ、セノミは妹。まだ終わってなかったのか見てただけのミッチーに言われたくないよ。あらわにヒアフロムミッチーイーザーとビアナ。そんなことよりロボアンのエントリーって何時かな。え、今って何時?9時前。うわ
ロボ部の運命がかかった日だよテンション上げていかなきゃよしここで先生から提案してやろういいか今から3人で学校の校歌を歌うんだだいぶやだよテンション上げる意味が違うよミッチーそりゃあ歌は文化の極みだけどおお前たち先生は悲しいぞ<笑> After,、uh, for some reason, the downtrodden Mitch just runs off into the distance. I think it's safe to ignore him for now. Yeah, see, your teacher just ran off and left you guys in one of the most crowded cities. The fuck is this guy, man? Like, I know he was in. He's just kind of. Uh, but, like, even now, like, oh my god. I finished the rest of the program with guts and willpower, so you don't need to work hard. <laughs> No rehearsal time is gonna hurt. Today's the qualifiers, so I just have to pray I don't get matched against a veteran. Gonna have to learn as I play. The plaza is in front of the venue is already crowded with people. There are teenagers like us in school uniforms, middle aged men, and some women who look like models. I guess I'm on luggage duty. If our beloved honorary prez gets stolen by a rival or something, we'd be screwed. Not that I expect anyone wants our junky decade old hobby. Aki、robot. I call the Akiho from behind. Murishi no yoni. She smiles and strikes a pose, then walks off alone towards the expo arena. Now then, I've got some free time to, until she returns. Michi's off somewhere,、uh, who knows where. I crouch down at her place and close my eyes. Alright, hold on. Let me, let me just see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe it either, man. Mitchie, you just. You gotta be that way, huh? Alright, well, there's nothing really there. I just w a n t to keep track of it just in case, you know? If I focus my awareness into my mind, I can feel the blood flowing around the inside of my body. At the same time, feelings like unease and impatience start welling up within. It's obvious that the fuse is getting shorter, but I still have no clue how much is left. I just want to conquer my mental weakness. I want to get over the insecurity caused by this bomb, but I can't. So, if I'm going to endure my anxiety, I might as well relieve some stress by playing Kill Ballad. Truth be told, I spent the entire night playing at、uh, Wick D. That's why I didn't sleep much at all. After playing the game in Tokyo, I can hardly withstand my own excitement. This is amazing. Why, you ask? Because there's basically no lag in multiplayer. On Tanegashima, due to connection issues and the like, there's simply no way to avoid the effects of lag. Hell, until last night, I figured I was totally normal. I thought everyone was dealing with lag to some extent. But when I started up KB for the first time in Tokyo, it was completely different than playing on the island. The response time to, to my inputs was so good that it made me feel like I was playing a different game altogether. In matches between top rankers, a difference in only a few frames of input de decides victory and defeat. So, for a game like Kill Ballad, a lagless environment is basically a paradise. Ironically, since I'm used to playing with heavy lag, the accurate timing led me to lose some of, to some low tier rankers. But thanks to the thrill of playing KD in its true form, I forgot about my anxiety and I was,、uh, it was kind of like a, a trank. Maybe I should move to Tokyo if it means no more lag. A part of me is legit considering college here just for that. It's pretty uncommon for universities with lower、uh, score ceilings to not fill up, so I should be able to get in somewhere. Oh, oh, Tajiri! I ended up shouting out loud. I just got matched with the number four on the leaderboards. Tajirin, or Ringer. I call them Tajirin. This makes my first time getting matched with someone higher ranked than me while in the lagless environment. While I'm only ranked,、uh, still only ranked fifth, Tajirina is only player in the top five that I truly respect. All four players higher than me play in a complete silence without using Voicha.、Uh, Tangrina is no extension. Hell, they don't even respond to text chat. I have no idea what kind of person they are. What I do know is that they're crazy strong. If we've been talking about win loss records, I've lost the overwhelmingly majority of our encounters. But that's exactly why I always challenge them when I can. Like now, even though I'm still not used to the lack of lag, I, you, but you know what? A troop kill ballad player would 
相手にとって不足なしだね。<笑> I lick my lips and start to get pumped up. I've already managed to stuff my anxiety into the corner of my mind. Y, Y, X, B, A, B, X, B, 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 A, B, X, B, Y, Y, B. That was terrible, by the way. But I did it. <laughs> I forget that there are people around me and I shout into the air. I can't help but get hyped up when I beat someone strong. Strange for me, right? I guess it's an adrenaline rush. But here's the thing you can't rise in rank by just winning once. I need to raise my win ratio against the higher tier rankers. A t a n j i r i n or disconnects after just one match. Oh man, I want to fight him a few more times at the very least. I close Kill Ballad a bit downtrodden. After I yawn, I begin to stretch in, ex in an attempt to fight off my drowsiness. Fortunately, I've managed to drive off some of my anxiety towards the bomb I'm carrying. I'm fine. I'm not all that agitated. In a little while, the robot club, me and Akio, will stand on the same stage that Misune did nine years ago. I thought it was ten years ago. Wait. Wait, nine. So she did that when she was a freshman? Because they're six years older. They're six years older, but that was nine years ago, which means they had to be freshmen in high school, right? Well, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, ha they would have to be freshmen in high school, right? When they entered this competition. So I suppose they're. Mm, interesting. I don't really care about the club getting sh、uh, shuttered if I lose. But I admittedly do kind of want to win the championship like Mizune did all those years ago. I can't help but mutter to the bomb inside of me. I'm not going to lie, it reminds me a lot of Little Busters, because the main character, of course, in Little Busters has, you know,、um, to deal with、uh, narcolepsy, and so he'll just pass out, and he's trying to hope that. He doesn't like pass out at just random times or whatever. But, you know. I'm standing in Robo One entry registration line. Without even realizing it, I pulled up a certain person's name on my phone droid. I'm kind of surprised at myself. To be honest, I was planning on sending her a message while in line. I probably only ever called her a few times in total. That's mostly because I usually send my older sister messages, I rarely call. Heck, I don't plan on calling her right now either. Yet here I am, staring so intently at her name that I can't even,、uh, that I for even forget to breathe. My desperation is almost laughable. Whether it be by message or phone call, I haven't once been able to get in touch with Misa over the last six years. She doesn't answer any of my calls or reply to any of my messages. I bet she's busy with TV appearances and stuff. I went to. Okay. Here's, here's my problem with that.、Uh, you don't just get busy with TV appearances and stuff for six years and not. Respond to a text message.、Uh, she, she calls people and does that all the time. She can at least say, Hi, how's it going? She can at least put in a few lines of effort. The fact is that she's not doing that. That's pretty messed up. I know that, like, she, I just. Like. She clearly doesn't like you that much. Either. Because. She, That's the problem. It's like you can't justify being scared of texting you back for six years. That doesn't make any sense. You know what I mean? Like, that's just a dick move. That's all it is. I know I'm just making excuses. No, you're not. You're not. She's being a dick. That's just how it goes. My sister was a college student up until two years ago, and even then I couldn't get in touch with her. These feelings fell up inside my head by themselves. Is she avoiding me? Well, she must be. If I just say the word into my phone droid, it'll ring her up. But when I try and speak, my voice gets lost in my throat. It won't come out. I'm hesitating. I'm in Tokyo right now. My sister is somewhere in this huge city, too. This is probably the closest I've been to her since the, she left the island six years ago. She's right here in front of my eyes, within arm's reach. I sent her a message about this whole Robo One deal, but I have no clue if she read it or not. 
Since I'm here in Tokyo, I want to see her. She's family. I steal myself and say the word out loud. My sister works for the Exoskeleton Company. It goes without saying, but it's the company that makes uh, produces hugs. Right now, it's a uh, rated number one on the list of companies in Japan that students want to go and work for. Misa makes appearances on TV and in commercials as the person in charge of their PR. Since last night, I've seen countless posters and AR ads with her photo plastered on them. I think I've seen her more in the last few hours than I did on the island, yet somehow I still can't get in touch with her. I gaze at the screen display, almost like I'm praying. It's like something deep in my chest is being squeezed tight and it hurts. I clench my chest over my clothes. A female receptionist calls out to me. That's when I realize I'm already in the front of the line. The woman looks at me and offers an empty form for me to fill out. My gaze starts back and forth between my phone droid and the monitor and the woman. Right. I sigh and put away my phone droid. I'm finally within arm's reach. She's so close, yet I still can't reach her. It's just, uh... I don't know. Like, I mean... That's just a pretty big dick move. Not in a good way. Not like big dick energy. Like bad, bad. Just being a massive asshole. The first battle of the qualifying tournament has already started. Our central ton of, our central Tanegashima high team is apparently set to fight in about 15 minutes. Oh, for what is worth, Michi is still missing. So much for our chaperone, eh? Akio is making program adjustments until just a while ago. Now she's lecturing me on the rules of the competition. She gave me the memo with the command list last night. They're much less complicated than kill ballads, and there aren't nearly as many of them. Oh, and that transformation charge attack, I forgot all about it. Honestly, that thing feels more like a suicide attack than anything really usable, but eh. So, then, right, I'm going to be able to get the tournament. I'm going to be able to get the tournament. I'm going to be able to get the tournament. Four times, huh? Things are going to be pretty competitive. Devil stronger. This must be the opponent's robot. デビルストロンガーは前回大会の決勝トーナメント進出者だよ。すごいパワープレイで勝ちまくったの。実力者ってこと？そんな相手といきなり当たっちゃうなんて、まいっちゃうね。でもうちらが勝てばヒーローになれ
sure I'm ranked fifth in the world on the kill ballad leaderboards, but that took a long time and a lot of effort. I learned the quirks of my character, the strats against others, their weaknesses, strengths, everything. But I'm going into this fight with nothing, not even an ounce of practice. I'm going to have to focus even harder than I do when I play kill ballad. Oh, look, you can see the sense of the sense of the sense. Kai, is it the sense of the sense? There's no point in hiding the truth. She's been dealing with my attacks for as long as I've been dealing with hers. Akio's expression darkens as she gazes straight into my eyes. Like she's imploring me, or appealing to me. That look. Did you really have to go for my hair now of all times? I give her the stage. It looks like she wants to say something, but she can't put it into words. Eventually, she shakes her head. In the end, Akio swallows her words. Nonetheless, I get the gist of what she wants to say. If we lose, the robot club is finished. Everything we in uh, inherited from our seniors over the last nine years will be lost. That's why we're here at Robo One. This is the battle that we can't afford to lose. That's what you want to say, right? But here's the thing. None of that matters to me. She crumbles as she pulls out a piece of the usual space candy out of her skirt pocket. Her skirt has pockets? That's a, that's a good thing. You know how rare that is? Skirt pockets are hard to find, mate. I pop it into my mouth. The refreshing sensation makes it way down my, down my throat. Yeah, that's the ticket. She looks at the weight that, uh, like a weight has been lifted off her shoulders. Akio slaps me on the back. She says with a smile. <laughs> but I'll take that over the tone she had earlier. Luck is not on my side. It's the, it's my first time on the big stage. My health is a mess. Could this get any worse? And on top of that, I have to worry about the positive and negative matchups. Defeat could be imminent. Uh, imminent. Uh, yet at the end of the day, the feeling of wanting to climb the mountain is the same here and in Kill Ballad. I'm not excited or burdened as a member of the rocket, uh, Robot Club. As far as I'm concerned, this is just another fighting game tournament. Time. I mean, that's fair. I hear cheers from afar, an excited announcer commentary accompanied by stomps that shake the entire venue. All of this is just beyond the end of the hallway, shrouded in light on the other side. Akio and I stand shoulder to shoulder and step into that light together. It's a different world on this side. A huge arena surrounded by bleachers from which all eyes are on us. The cheering shakes our bodies. While it's not at full capacity, I believe that this is uh, that this many people would be here for the qualifiers in the morning too. I've never seen this many people gathered in one place before. It's overwhelming. Uh, for the first time in my life, it truly dawns on me that Robo One and robots in general are booming worldwide. The AR billboards with Misune on them only put more pressure on me. She was my gaming master, and I could never beat her. While she isn't here in person, it sure as hell feels like she is. You better not screw up. No pressure. I need to make sure not to let myself get lost in the sea of people. It'd be pretty shameful if I lost because I couldn't stay focused. I'd get my gamer license taken away. There are already matches underway elsewhere in the arena. A quick glance around the building reveals a huge variety of ro uh, hobby robots going toe-to-toe -to -toe with each other. I'm starting to get worried about our decade-old old honorary prez. I can faintly hear an official yelling for Central Tanegashima High in the distance. Round one. Let the games begin. Fight! I stand before the ring with Akiho. The gazes and cheers from the audience seem distant now. I'm de deepening my focus. 
honing my nerves. Thanks to the candy in my mouth, I don't feel drowsy from staying up all night. I'm doing my best to hold back my anxiety and irritation about my incoming attack. If this bomb is going to explode, do me a favor and wait until the match is over, okay? All I can do is pray for that. So, in the next the Devil Stronger I am here! Heel Sengenした Maikawa Shizuya ni chumok shiyoze! Devil Stronger no saisho no ejiki to naru no wa Tanegashima no kokou sei da! The heel. The heel of Robo One. What is he, the Randy Orton of Robo One, man? Is he gonna like, you know, RKO the shit out of you and then punch your head off and break the robot, you know? The live commentary reverberates throughout the arena. On mic is the famous Jay Babylon. Despite his name, rumors say he's actually Japanese. The commentary assumes we're gonna lose. Can't say I'm much of a fan. Aokona! After being introduced to the audience, I bow my head slightly. Akio stands the honorary prez up inside the ring. Look at this thing. Ma uh, Maikawa Shi is on the other side of the ring, raising both arms to the audience. He knows how to work the crowd. The cheers get noticeably louder. They're cheering for the heel? He's not a very good heel, then. The heel, the entire point of the heel, whether it be in wrestling or in this, is to make sure that the crowd boos you. You want to be seen as the bad guy. That means you're doing a good job as a heel. This man's getting cheered for. That's a terrible heel move. That's, that's the entire point of being a heel, is to make sure you don't do that. Anyway. Maikawa Shi's Devil Stronger is pretty big too. It's easily 1.5 times the height of the honorary prez. Wouldn't it make sense for it to be the other way around? Wouldn't it be better if at the start they didn't do it and then as robots got more diversified they put weight classes in? That's like saying wrestling uh, it's just like, not not like uh, WWE wrestling, but like, you know, Glecko-Roman style wrestling. They were just like, you know what? No weight classes anymore. That 150-pound dude, we'll put him up against the 327-pound guy. It's fine. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, that's debatable. I mean, that, that just means there's a disadvantage for But, I mean, that, that would make it... You'd still want to put weight classes because then the heavier... But that's the thing, is like... The, 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 the light robots won all of the tournaments back when there was weight classes. Meaning that they won the tournament for their weight class. So there's still other weight classes that that still won. So why would they just change that? And if they did change that and then the light machines were all winning, wouldn't you want to put weight classes in again because then the heavier machines would be able to win tournaments like for their weight class? Because like putting them up against smaller machines uh, is supposedly a massive disadvantage and it makes sense. They're more agile and they'll be able to move around more often. So then it would be more difficult for the... Uh, bigger machine to actually hit him or be able to win but interesting that one actually made sense I mean specs do matter okay if this guy really is a favorite for winning the whole thing it's entirely possible the odds are 0 to 10 against us but hey, Akio is never is back to her normal, overly optimistic self. So I'm uh, feeling pretty all right. That is true. <laughs> Maikawa, she glares at Akio from across the ring and snorts out a laugh. <laughs> Boyfriend. 
Uh, why did it say boy toy? He literally just said boyfriend in, in, in plain English, but like with Japanese, you know, characters or whatever. Like, it was pretty obvious. This midlife crisis of a man is clearly in his 40s. Yeah, the dude is running his mouth off, but he's all soft and flabby. <laughs> you tell him, Akiho. Akiho. <laughs> Oh, hey now. This is a nationwide broadcast. Should we really be making grand declaration as high schoolers just debuting? You're not supposed to say that kind of thing out loud, even if you believe it. It's embarrassing. <laughs> so? Wait, wait, hold on. Is this a compliment to, to, to Kai? I'm confused. What what even is he saying in this case? I, I maybe he he just knows how to operate you in bed. But like that still means he's getting laid, which this forty-year-old dude isn't. Like so, is it? I don't really get it. Like this is still like he's still getting some. Isn't that like, look, I, I know sex isn't that incredible. It's not really that big of a deal. But like, for, for, for men, it seems to be a, they, they make this kind of joke all the time. At least from my own experience. I don't really know much about it because I'm barely, I'm not even really a guy. I was just there around guys. So... I don't really know, but I don't really feel like it's just, I feel like it's really weird. I don't know, what you, What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, I have to have, end this episode off, and the next episode we're going to be seeing exactly how this whole thing goes down, and uh, we'll see you then. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we'll see you next time.